We're going to a little event tonight. I've been looking forward to it literally all week. Whoa, we're going on a walk. I am doing some major organization in the studios. If this outfit's not good, I'm screwed. This outfit is a complete disaster. Honey comes in the room this morning and goes, baby, did you soak tan last night? It starts touching my face and that's when I knew that I messed up because I know his voice when he's trying to be nice. But I read through the lines. Oh, today's a really fun day. What a great day to be alive. So before having a kid, I used to think toys all over the house was not aesthetic. <laughs> And now I love it. I think it's so cute. I think all these fun little toys bring so much fun. Like all this color. I mean, obviously before people come over, I'll consolidate and put the toys in like one little area, but waking up to all this color and fun, I enjoy it. This is Rio's favorite book, Animalzinhos da Facenda. Guys, I forgot to tell you, but I literally learned Portuguese. <laughs> I'm a little bit proud of myself because at my old age it's hard to learn a language like are you kidding me i never thought i'd be learning a language in my 20s eu falo português eu sou um mãe do rio então eu tenho que falar português tá bom tá muito muito bom this hairline is actually <laughs> crazy i'm watching the footage back of me brushing my tiny little hairs like no uh, but you know what they the hairs are coming back like it's not that bad it's just like they're at the most awkward length i really didn't know about balding after you have a baby like i i had body changes in mind i'm like all right i know that's gonna happen but the balding thing that was a fun surprise i'm gonna give myself a very fast movie moment makeover we are talking anne halfway in princess diaries step one remove top layer okay okay we're already serving a little hip Okay, step two, hide my balding. I used to fall for this in the movies. Like, I mean, I was like 10, but when they would go like this and shake it, shake it, shake it and pop up with a blowout, I really thought that that's all you had to do. So I would go to school, I would go wherever and I'd be like, thinking I was serving actual kind. <gasps> no, damn it. I thought my face roller was in here. Let me just stick my whole head in the freezer at this point. No, that's not gonna work. We're gonna put the roller in there. No, this is nuts. Sometimes my studio looks like a literal college dorm room. Like I used to have hair all over all of my spaces regularly from regular hair fallout with this postpartum thing. It looks like there are four Sorority sister brunettes who live in this house. This looks nuts, but I saw a TikTok of my friend and she said she brushes her hairs back first and then she locks them into place and I'm like, wait, I feel like she's on to something. I think it may have overdone the eyebrows. So I look a little angry bird like. Wow, I used to actually like do my eyebrows like this. Like I used to never leave the house without my eyebrows like brushed like this. And now I'm like lucky if I get some concealer. No, I think these actually came out good. This is the Urban Decay Day Brow. Okay, let's get this day started. Ew! I just realized I haven't brushed my teeth yet. have an event tonight, which I have been looking forward to literally all week. That is the fabulous thing about living in Miami. There's events here. And I didn't think there would be, but that was silly of me because Miami is such a place right now in terms of, I don't know, just like things happening. I feel like there's a lot of people, a lot of brands that do things here now, a lot of events that happen here now. Definitely not the vibe when I used to live here. Like, well, actually, maybe I was too young at the time to get invited to cocktail hours. That's definitely what it was. I'm going to a little event tonight. I've been looking forward to it literally all week. Cause you know what it is? I spend the whole entire week momming, wiping diapers, okay? And then I have like one event every single week that I get to get a gorgeous for, get to take little flicks, get to go out, have a little cocktail. 
It's a vibe. So tonight's event is at a very bougie Miami hotel. I have to Google it because I haven't been in so many years and I want to make sure my idea of this place is up to date so I kind of know how to dress. That's how I usually figure out how to dress. I'll either look up the brand and go on their Instagram and see what kind of aesthetic they're going for. Like if they're a grungy brand, I'm not going to show up in a flower dress. I feel like this brand is more flower dress though. To a certain extent. It's definitely more of a dainty brand and the hotel is gorgeous and fabulous. So I think the outfit maybe will have to be like a cute, dainty, girly little moment with a gorgeous heel. I'm so excited. Do you like my new fit? It's a cute outfit. I was expecting the top to be very tight, but it's actually like the smallest amount of like loose or like movable and I kind of live for it. All right, let's have some coffee before this baby wakes up. I miss him. I miss him when he naps. I'm like, hello. Well, sometimes I miss him when he naps. Other times I'm like, please keep napping. I have important things to do, like shower. Did you get good sleepies? <laughs> about the Spain adventures. What do you want to know? Like, did you do anything <laughs> dirty? Ew, don't say that. Give <laughs> <laughs> me any Spanish guy. No, no, have stop. Spanish chicha. <gasps> wow, okay. that is OD. Did you? Don't put that on the internet. I am doing some major organization in the studio. Things are going to be where they belong. I have so many things that I haven't been using and I'm like, wait, all these hidden gems and I'm using the same three products every time I get ready. I'm gonna hopefully use a bunch of these tonight when I go out. I always do this. I don't give myself enough time <sighs> and then I get really stressed. I have no idea what I'm gonna wear. I need to shower. I'm having a big ish with my closet right now. I'm not resonating with any of the clothes in there. Like I go in in my closet and it does not feel like it's mine. I feel like a stranger. I'm just so disconnected to every single piece that I have. It was the pregnancy and it, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not connecting with them. So today's outfit, I wanted to go for a dainty girly vibe because I feel like that would much better match the event. Like a sunset cocktails are at six. So I feel like when the event is at 6 p.m. it's cute to do a little bit of color, like a little bit dainty sunset-y, but I'm not inspired by anything. So I have a new diesel black tank top that I depopped. And I'm not like obsessed with it by any means, but I have a diesel black tank top. I have some tights. I, I think I could put together a cute look. It's gonna have to be more grungy, but I feel like it'll be good. This makeup counter looks insane right now. I am literally just a girl. But like, I have no problem doing my makeup like this with shit everywhere. Like this does not bother me one bit. Like I'm good. I'm extremely comfortable. This is the only room in the house that I feel that way about. I've switched to starting my glam with hair these days. I was making such a silly mistake like, really taking the time on your hair and not skimping out on the hair and if you're pressed on time skimping out on the makeup that ends up looking better because when i take the easy road with my hair and i just spend all this time doing my makeup to go somewhere with flat hair it doesn't do me any favors Ooh. okay i saw this on tiktok and i feel like it's gonna be great Dance with me in my backyard, boy. So I'm texting my friend that I'm going with tonight and I'm telling her like, oh, I asked her if she's gonna have a drink before. Um, and she responded that she's sorry, like filming a video. I said, sorry, I'm filming a video. We are such silly little girls, but she responded a picture back of her look and she's like popping off with the look, which is good to know. I will always check in with a friend before going somewhere because I don't want to do the most and then like us not match you know like it always sucks to be the one in the full glam in the full hair in the full outfit and your friends like natural and you're like Fuck. well we could have talked 
more about this before. Her selfie she just sent me just told me to pump up the glam. And I'm game. Miami really is such a hot spot right now. Like I get invited to events left and right. Not actually, I'm trying to act cooler than I am. I get like one a week and like, well, one that I want to actually go to once a week and they truly give me life. Cause I wonder, I'm like, where else could I be doing this? I guess if I lived in LA, I would be able to be doing this and New York. Like the moms that I follow from both of those places are always able to get their hot solo time. But I'm glad that Miami's like part of that list now. Let me put you on quick. This is a caipiroshka. Caipirinha is a Brazilian drink and it's made with a different type of alcohol that's really only a Brazilian thing. Caipiroshka is the same drink made with vodka or in, in Portuguese, vodka. Girl. Mmm, so good. Basically just a ton of limes. I think a spoonful of sugar. Mmm, you know a spoonful of sugar make the medicine go soon. I have to do a lot of bronzer today due to my stuff tanning. Ew. My neck is like 50 shades darker than the rest of my body, <laughs> but it's okay. Honestly, with big hair, makeup instantly matters like 50% less. I'm hoping that this hair is gonna be a slay. I actually, I don't know what to expect. I gotta give it up to King Kylie with the, uh, with the blushes. Nobody makes a bubblegum pink blush like King Kylie. This is meh. What's the shade? I don't know. It, this is good. I start getting stressed out. Because if this outfit's not good, I'm screwed. This outfit is a complete disaster. Complete, complete mess. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, this is not happening. The tights are showing through the skirt. The tights are too high for the top. It's a disaster. It's so bad that I have to start from ground zero. Like, there really is no saving this. Yeah, like nothing's even cute. I thought this top was gonna be cute. It's not cute. Ugh. I have this dress. It's kind of cute. I mean, it definitely gives Miami vibes. I guess it does give spring. Let me see. Wait, this is kind of cute, I think. Ugh. This is cute. Ugh. I feel like it definitely is cute. I just don't have the right shapewear for it. And that's something like ever since having my baby, I'm not feeling 100% there yet without the shapewear, especially in an outfit like this. But I mean, I guess it is a plan B. Ugh. I'm really so uninspired by my closet. Nothing after I gave birth, like literally nothing. It is inspiring to me in here, fuck. Okay, I've changed the fit. This is a lot cuter, I'll show you in a second. Let's see if this pin thing worked. I'm feeling optimistic about it. It does not matter what I do to my hair. In this city, it always falls flat. The humidity in Miami is not conductive to good hair, but I like my outfit. It's looking a little bit elegant. Watching this back, I do wish I wore a black heel. I feel like the gold heel kind of didn't really make as much of a statement as I would have liked it to, but still, I feel elegant, I feel put together, I feel cute. Let's go to this brand event. I used to wonder what the purpose of these brand events are for. Like, is it to bring a bunch of influencers out and have them pop tag the brand and then get brand awareness that way? Which, I mean, I guess it is, but it's also really cool to go learn about the brand. They give us a lot of information on the history of the brand, on what their brand stands for, and the reason that they do events like this is honestly to give influencers the lowdown and to get them familiarized with the brand and hopefully start a relationship. And it's actually really cool and I'm grateful for the opportunity that I have to go network and even make friends with girls that do similar stuff that I do in my area. Okay, thanks for hanging out. This was fun. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.